Hey, moron! Hey, moron! Duh! Look at me! I'm the Wooly Waterboard, dude! Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, this is where... It's hard being a Cowboy fan. It's hard being a Cowboy fan um, when we get what we get with Jerry Jones, the money miser, the penny pincher. Um, so right now, the Cowboys, we have some problems. Going into this game right now against Pittsburgh, where we are literally staring down the barrel of murderer's row right now micah parsons yesterday status out wednesday did not practice brandon cooks knee wednesday did not practice uh kaylin carson shoulder wednesday limited safety marquez bell ankle full participant rest day from leek hooker eric kendrick jordan lewis zach martin and understand that also um, Demarcus Lawrence is uh, going on IR. The Steelers, Russell Wilson, of course, but has not played all season. And, you know, it's kind of funny that he's been nicked up the whole time and hasn't done anything. Jalen Warren, running back, uh, did not practice. Uh, linebacker Jeremiah Moon, full practice. Linebacker Nick Herb, ankle, did not practice. Uh, tight end McColl Pruitt, knee, did not practice. Running back uh cordell patterson did not practice um so we're seeing of course like everybody in the nfl everybody is nicked up everybody is beat down but we are very much one-dimensional guys we're cd and deck and now we have jalen tolbert who this is going into his third year but has about 400 yards and receptions and jalen brooks we are about as thin as it gets. And when you look at somebody like Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams is not just a receiver. You gave up a, God. It, it, here in my mind, I'm wondering is how the Cowboys gave up a number one for Amari Cooper, then traded him for only a fifth. I guess in their mind that that's what, they should be paying for the next receiver, a fifth round pick. Because this whole thing of we can't afford him, it's too big. Um, there's $13 million left on his contract for the rest of this year. And as I pointed out last night, that you this is one of those ones that you invest in the team. And you've invested a lot of money in DAC, and you've invested a lot of money in CD. It's kind of like this. If you go through and you say, I'm going to get a Ferrari, right? I'm going to get a Ferrari. And you end up putting on some Walmart tires on it. Bro, bro, it, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. You got to have, you know, high quality tires to go on a freaking Ferrari. And this is where Jerry Jones is a freaking idiot. And this is where the good old fire Jerry Jones. He literally ends up flying in on his helicopter and talking about how much the Cowboys are worth. And Stephen Jones, how ticket sales, you know, renewals are as high as they've ever been. And yet here it is. You're telling uh, the fans that are spending all this money and everything else and everybody that are making you them boys that, you know, can't afford that. Can't afford to try and win. And at this point, I, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm at a loss where 
do I want them to lose? Do you? Because I think what's going to have to happen. I, I don't want to agree with Walker Wade and everything else, but you know we're in purgatory. We have to do so bad to affect change. Because this, what we're doing, you you know, we need to just stop from this point forward until we see something different. Thinking that the Cowboys are a Super Bowl team. We, we just have to stop. We cannot any longer think that when we literally will say every player out there is too expensive. When we'll go out and we'll get a Zeke Elliott who I don't think has 100 yards rushing this year and think, yeah, this is about winning the Super Bowls. If it's about the drama, well, they're winning on that one. I, I am so disgusted this morning that I, I don't even know what to talk about. You know, it's week number seven of the NFL season. We've got Thursday night football tonight, and here it is. We have opportunities that, for whatever reason, Jerry Jones just doesn't want to take any kind of risk whatsoever. You know, I'm sitting here thinking about Tampa Bay and Atlanta tonight, so we'll be live streaming that. Um, Atlanta's tried to make moves. They drafted a quarterback. They brought in Kirk Cousins. You know, they're 2-2, two and two, same record as we are, trying to get better. Tampa Bay, same thing. Everybody out there is trying to get better except for the Dallas Cowboys. We brought in a whole bunch of journeymen, older defensive players that really haven't done a whole lot. And we keep talking about, you know, the team that I put on, put, put here, and, and I'm the one to fix this. Jerry, it seems like you're messing it up more than you're fixing it. I just don't know where to go here. But this is where we are literally a laughing stock here. Listen to Rich Eisen's show yesterday. Head coach in the National Football League who might be, uh, everybody thinks, is in on Devontae Adams or should be in on Devontae Adams is being asked about him today. He's on another team. They can't comment about another player on another team, despite the report saying he wants out. And yet they're being asked about it. So it's very simple um, to everybody out there wondering who's in on him or who should be on him. Um, we have a board. We, we created it, um, and we put it up on the screen before. If you don't, guys in our control room don't mind, uh, we break everything down for you here uh, on our program. It's um, easily digestible. Well, I, I, honestly, yeah, it, right, it, right. It, everybody Easy to um, is talking about this guy right now. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, um, and word is he has said he wants out. Right, word is he said he wants out. Prefers, but here it is. Here's your uh, here's your here's your breakdown. <laughs> uh, top five teams that should go get Devonte Adams. Uh, really your team, your one team. through five. <laughs> and if you wanted one more, you know, because we always do that here on the program. It's there. you know. You think we need one more? Oh. All right, we'll get one. More. Interesting that that line was delivered in Las Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. Sure was. <laughs> about wondering about one more. Your team. Rich, when you when you your said, team, your team, when you said people are going Everybody. crazy, crazy, Devontae, hi, it's me, I'm people, I'm going, uh, I'm right. going crazy. Rich, right. update Pick from Diana Rossini. Yes, ten minutes ago. Okay, give me the good news. She says my biggest takeaway from conversations with teams around the league: yes. many involved or have checked in checked believe in. the Jets are the team that will get this trade God, done. Doesn't help me. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, Speaking on behalf, how quickly can he get the London of the man who will be the man. in the booth with a headset on, <laughs> calling the action of Jets versus Vikings, <laughs> um, with Kurt Warner? Can can he? You know, how, is his passport up? Ready? Yeah. Here, coach. <laughs> Not a is Jay his, Felly situation. Is his passport ready? For yeah, his passport, passport is ready to go <laughs> and up to date. So just <laughs> once again, it is, is it, it, again, the, the language is people believe the Jets are going to be the ones to get it done, right? Correct. Okay. Because that's what people are believing? Okay. Jane Slater, my colleague, 
who covers the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, Jane knows things. She well, you don't like what you won't like what she knows. Oh, oh Jane, no. come on now. AJ. I'm told the Cowboys aren't in on Adams. Ugh. quote unquote, don't have the money. <sighs> And more importantly, draft capital next year, more important than ever. Wow. Don't have the money. Oh, that hurts. Well, if you look at spot track, you know, and fans will do that, there, there, there does appear to be enough to, to snag them. Yeah. Over the cap, too, has yeah. all the... As all It'll the be thirteen million. This is for frustrating. This okay, I'm frustrated. Yeah, it you, is. You want to know? Twenty-seven. You, next like, year. how do you feel, like, TJ? Times and I tell down. you, I'm not mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Let me tell you why I'm mad, son. Let me tell you why I'm mad because he's right there. He's right there for the taking. Get your damn act together. Yes, and plus, for a second round pick, we're twenty-four million under the cap. There's room. Look under the couch cushions. You might be right? able to get him for a three. Well, I, fine. Because Do something. Because I want to curse right now. You have the added benefit of being in the in the 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 proper conference. Yeah. You know the Raiders are going to want to send him elsewhere so they don't see him the Cowboys more Raiders than just once beef. in the next four years. Being it is Vegas, Dallas could be all in. Ooh. No, apparently not, this guy. <laughs> apparently we're not all You're in. You're not. Okay? <laughs> it's just it's something to put on T-shirts and give They're false not. hope. I ain't got no all. hope. I don't know. Oh. That, yeah, And then you hear other reports saying they are interested and they have checked in, right? Well, you got I wonder well, what is the check-in process? Um, do you have to ring, do you have ring, to leave your credit card ring, for, ring, for incidentals? Incidentals. Is that what it is? Yeah. Check-in process. You have, to, you have to you have to give Mark Davis your credit card for in, in, incidentals. Ooh. Uh just in case you want to take something from the mini bar while while staying uh and the check-in process? If you want to yeah. peanut M&Ms? Yeah, I don't know. You I mean, if, if, robe? if, if, if it's going to take a while, uh, sure. You know, yeah. the, uh, a Toblerone? If it's highfalutin? If it's if it's favorite candy. Checking in. Hey, checking in. So is there, is the report true? To Tom Telesco calling him up. Is the report true, Tom? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, okay, well, when are you going to trade him? I don't, I don't know. When it's, well, just, you know, you got my number. Let me know. Because Aaron Rodgers would love to play with him again. And what better way to, you know, show Garrett Wilson, this is where I would like the route to be broken off, and this is where <laughs> you should turn your head when I'm flipping it down the middle and we're needing to gain some yards in the Jersey rain to try and uh, beat the Broncos. And, you know, who better to, to know the hand signals? Who better to give Rodgers his best shot at cashing in for another trophy in his dwindling window that we're assuming is dwindling. Who knows? He looks pretty okay, damn good yeah. as long as he's not sacked five times. Yeah. Uh, Diana also saying the Steelers interested. The Steelers are interested. Now, unfortunately, Mike Tomlin's spoken this week because that would be great. Let's ask Mike about somebody <laughs> else in somebody else's <laughs> roster. Right. Which, which, which quarterback would throw to him best, do you think? Tom, uh, Mike? See you. No Black coach, and goal. Here we go. No coach is going to be able to answer these questions today. He's on another team. Apparently, McCarthy right. spoke about you know Devonte as a human. You know, he, he. I remember Devonte. You know, but it would be good to get him because um, uh, we have Sala. We have that. Okay, here's here's oh, Robert oh. Sala being asked about him. Oh, hit it. The player becomes available. Uh, played with Aaron Hypothetically, would you consult Aaron to, to get his opinion about the player? And what's the team's bigger? Uh, he can't answer that. <laughs> uh, um, we're going to focus on the guys that are here. Yeah, because he can't answer it. And plus, if he says anything, then it's just like, so you, you don't believe in uh, Garrett? You don't believe in Mike Williams? You don't believe? I mean... Mike McCarthy said, because again, thank goodness, uh, I, I love our um, L.A. We love our desk at NFL guys. Network. Um, Jane Slater tweeted out, he won't go into specifics about Brandon Cooks, who's out this week. Love our practice squad guys when discussing options. He said, love our practice squad guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see who chimed in on the... Guess what this, you're talking about people going nuts. The cheat is chiming in. Woke up to trade news. Oh. Exciting. Oh, is he talking about himself? <laughs> Definitely not. Odell, he, Odell's starting to practice there, there now. Go. Okay, there you go. We just need the trigger man is all yeah, you need. Who's throwing the football? Week so eight. That Tua brings back. Us to Get ready. Because Miami's got New England. 
and then a bye, and then at Indiana and Indiana. Right, week eight, Arizona. Question is, is will they will they be one and six by then? Oh, it's not looking good. Right? Man. Yeah. Not or good. I guess they're one and three, one and five is what I'm saying. One yeah. and five, yeah. yeah. But Tyreek, hey man, he's he's looking there, and he's like, what would what would Waddle cough up seventeen? Uh, I don't know. Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> but Devonte is an OG, you know. I mean, like he is. He's got some cash. People are losing their minds. Not but the don't Cowboys. Worry, you, you got some good practice squad players, <laughs> TJ. Again. People losing their minds. Hi, it's me. I'm people. Cat gets traded. Lakers announced. We got some new trainers. Uh, Devontae Adams on the block. Cowboys love our practice squad, guys. (laughs) (laughs) This is baseball season for me right now. Okay, Okay. I like it. it. Focus, Focus. Milwaukee. You got this, TJ. Come on now. Yeah, come on. Dallas may or may not be in on Devontae Adams. (laughs) He can't be bothered. No, Brandon hey. Nimmo's at the plate. That's right. I, you know? Hey. Meet the Mets. Meet the Mets. Meet the hey, at Mets. least that owner in, in New York has never said the words that we can't afford him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That Jay, guy will never Jay, say that. Stevie will get the job done, man. He'll, he'll look There's for the There's always extra money in his yeah. banana stand. Right? Can't find Come the on. money. Nah, I got it. Don't worry. You know, I just don't have the, the, the capacity <laughs> to care so much about a team that doesn't seem like they this want is... to win. I got to throw, push all my chips on a team that wants to win. The Metropolitans. Why Let's go. Do the, what, what's, and here's the other question here is Chris Jones is about to join us apparently. Why, why, why has it not worked with Devontae Adams in, in Vegas? This is a good why, Where did this go south? Well, uh, the quarterback, the quarterback situation. Bench, quarterback. Bench, quarterback. Bench, yeah. his best friend. Well, and got rid of him. I understand yeah. that quarterback. Yeah, but Wouldn't that make you upset? Yeah, of yep. course. No, I, I am aware of that. Yeah. but Antonio Pierce had nothing to do with that. True that. True no, that's that. true. The guy scored. Look, look up his numbers because I, I look up his numbers. Devontae Adams, week two, in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, he's been pretty good. Well, I mean, you don't we, have to we go. Can, we can end this right here. But here's what's going on now is. Uh, Odell is beginning to practice in Miami, and the thoughts is that Miami may be deciding to break things up. And if you're looking at Twitter and Cowboys uh, media and things, they're saying the Cowboys had interest in Odell Beckham Jr. in 22. Here's the thing about Odell. If we look at the numbers, um, yeah, his last year in Cleveland and with the, the Rams, um, he had 232 yards in Cleveland and 305 yards during the regular season with the Rams, which was, you know, helping them get to a Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl. Did not play in 22. And um, last year with Baltimore had 565 yards and hasn't played this year. And so this is where we are with the Cowboys. You know what? Forget about getting the primo guy that's going to be able to really help us for a couple years, take it to another level. Let's go to the stretch and dent pile, or we believe in our practice squad, guys. It's enough to make you go crazy, but this is the life of a Dallas Cowboy fan. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys.